What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you guys F90, giving you guys updates, and talk about future plans with it. So we'll start off with engine mods on the F90. So far we have MSR intakes, Project Gamma downpipes, you can't see those, and a BM3 tune. I'm going to go ahead and start it for y'all and roll it out into the sun just so I can show you all the other mods that are done to it aesthetically. So far we have the RKP lip, that's from IND. We have the 50th anniversary badges, the carbon fiber grills, uh, inserts from well, actually not inserts, but replacements from BMW. On the side, we have the BC Forge 20-inch wheels. So they're two-piece, not three, but two, which is still great. And honestly, you save a lot of weight. Here we have the BMW carbon fiber side markers, carbon fiber mirror caps. The mirror caps are honestly such a sick addition. Like, if you don't do these on just your regular series BMW, what are you doing? I really like the rear end of the M5. Uh, back here we have a RW carbon fiber spoiler. I always call it the rear diffuser. Literally every single one of my videos I call it a rear diffuser. But the spoiler, wing, duckbill, whatever you want to call it. I always forget to mention this little piece, but this is a performance carbon fiber rear diffuser. So this is actually the diffuser that I talk about when I talk about the duckbill. The blacked out M5 badge. I actually bought this from a buddy in Hawaii, but get it from IND just because I don't really show these off enough one thing I always forget are these carbon fiber side skirts they're in performance so the fitment is just immaculate it's not really necessary but honestly like who doesn't need more carbon fiber interior is pretty basic honestly I haven't done anything to it I always wanted to replace the piano black with carbon fiber trim I would also do the same thing to the middle. I would just be getting rid of the uh, first edition badging, which kind of sucks because it makes it special, but it's really easy to clean and it wouldn't get destroyed with dust. Golden wrench supply caps that I got. So for the oil, you get the one for the coolant. There's another one. Here behind the grills, you can actually see the filters. So I have like the little mesh sock on them so you don't get a lot of rocks or dirt, debris, whatever into your turbos. Okay, so what do I want to change on the F90? Uh, other than the wrap, which I haven't revealed what wrap I want to go with, color or company. I do want to eventually get different wheels. I know I just bought these, don't kill me, but something just a little bit crazier. Not that the BC Forge aren't crazy, but I want to do something a little different. Uh, like I said, wrap, and eventually I do want to build the engine, kind of get tuned uh, for some really good power and uh, just reliability. Uh, that's why you know building the engine, I think, is really essential on these, uh, on these generations of M5s. Mazda 2018 if I didn't already mention it, but that's everything I really have in store for it. Nothing really, nothing, nothing else. I mean, I still want it as a family sedan. I do just want it to be pushing like, you know, 850 to 1,000 wheel horsepower. So I think that's pretty reasonable for a family sedan. Also a video of the daily. I could also do a review uh, and or just regular video on the Model Y. But it's my wife's, although I do daily it. And she kind of daily the M5, so it kind of works out for both of us. Anyways, that does it for today's video. I just wanted to post something to be more consistent. And hopefully you guys are still watching, and I will see you guys on the next video.